Okay, that sounds like a good guess. God, you mean they weren't at it? No. <laughs> it looks like they were standing right there. Look at the size of that rock. I'm curious what they're going to look like when they stand next to it. We can see. The closer I get to it, the bigger it is. Yeah, but look at the permanent shattered part, Charlie. On this side over here? Yeah. And as our crew slowly sinks into the sunset, <laughs> we bet a pond has disappeared into the sunset. Well, Tony, that's your house rock right there. Very good. Don't get too near the edge of that thing. It falls off. Look, look, over, look over to your right. It falls off pretty good. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we Keep your going. 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 And we encourage you just to look for some variety. But now it was time to head back to their base and close out the EVA. All right, we think you could just about uh, head south now. Yeah, the only reason. During the previous EVA, a section of a rear fender had come off the rover, causing the astronauts to receive occasional showers of lunar dirt. And that's a beautiful sight. Young parked the rover, then moved out to join Duke, enter the lunar module, and prepare for liftoff. Boy, Houston, the beauty of this place is just absolutely incredible. Smile, F.A.O. Don't be mad. We'll get it up there. See how nice and leisurely it's been? That's the way it should be, getting ready for ascent. Ten seconds. What a ride, what a ride. It's over on time. Together in orbit, the two spacecraft pirouetted, each inspecting the other. This is one of the fastest maneuvers I've made in a long time. The inspections complete, the command module and lunar module maneuvered to docking. John Young, Ken Mattingly, and Charlie Duke, reunited aboard the command module, settled down for tomorrow's tasks jettison the lunar module and burn out of orbit to come home. April 25, Ken Mattingly left the confines of the command module cabin, 173,000 miles from Earth. As he orbited the moon, he had not only made visual observations, he had been operating a complex series of experiments. Many of these had returned instant data to Houston. Two had taken thousands of high-resolution pictures of the lunar terrain. Now, Mattingly retrieved the film canisters and made his way back to the cabin with them, as Charlie Duke stood in the hatch to help him. It had been quite a mission. In John Young's words, I think we've seen as much in, uh, in 10 days as most people see in 10 lifetimes. April 27. The last day. The crew looked out their windows through the 5,000 degree fireball of re-entry at their native planet. That, that is beautiful, isn't it? Now they're blooming. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, they are. Control Houston, an observer on the Ticonderoga, estimates the distance uh, from the ship about uh, one mile.
you saw an example of goal-oriented teamwork in action. The kind of thing that made this country great and the kind of thing that's going to keep it that way. A real smooth shot. Every bit of it, Jerry. You brought him in beautifully. Well done, young man. Outstanding. I, am, I cannot touch that cigar anymore. I cannot.